Hey everybody, Jason from No Code V8. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use Banner Bear to create social media images. So I made this video a while back. And what we're doing, we're using Airtable as a content bank to hold all the information that we want to publish to social media networks. And then we're using Zapier to take that information and pass it to Banner Bear. Banner Bear is going to do its magic and create all these images dynamically. So if you've not seen or used Banner Bear before, this will give you some idea of what you can do with it. So let's jump in and have a look. So there is a little bit of uh, work to do in setting this up, but once it's set up, um, very easy to use. Um, it connects to Airtable, Zapier, all these kind of things. So let me just show you um, some examples that Banner Bear have on their own page. If we go to demos and go to multi-image demo, and just to give you an example of what, what is possible. So we're just gonna pick some backgrounds here. So we're gonna pick a beach and we're going to have a uh, woman face one and we're just going to have some text here so let's just go uh, let's just go for this one and then we're going to click generate images and this is going to go away and generate um, three different images in this case and so we have just created three images for you know potentially different social media posts or product posts on shopify or whatever it may be so the idea being that you can take an image, you can overlay text over it, and you can uh, put it, other images on or layer things on there. So, um, so let's just jump straight in and have a look. So if we go over to here, I'm logged into Banner Bear. And if I go to projects, I've just got one project in here. And if I click on this, then I can see I have two templates in here already and I can create as many templates as I like. Um, I can browse templates so I can pick some of these. But let's go back and look at the ones I've got in here already. So if we look at template two, I just have a template for this. So it's just going to use this template but it's going to change the quote and the person who quoted every time. And then in this one it's going to do the same thing, but it's just a different background, a different image. So, you know, you could have some for Instagram stories, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, whatever. So you can just create these, um, these templates. And then what we can do, we can create a template set. So all the template set is, it says include these two templates. So then I have a template set, which just includes them two images that uh, I just showed you. So what I can do then from that, so if I just jump over into Airtable now, and this is Airtable, it could be a spreadsheet or anything you like. So imagine I have lots of social media posts that I want to do, and I just fill this with different quotes and uh, authors and their company, okay? This could be reviews of your product, it could be uh, reviews of your services or anything like that. So what I've done, I've just got one in here, and if you see this previous one here, if I click create images, it's going to go away to Banner Bear and create them images with this on. So if we just look at what that looks like. So here's an image based on this data. And here's the other image based on this data. Okay, so if I show you again, then we have uh, Meg Whitman. She's a CEO of Hewlett Packard. And this is one of the quotes that she said. So I want to create an image. I click on the button. I close that and then if I wait a few seconds I should see these images are being created in Banner Bear and then Airtable is going to pull them back in and display them in here. So there we go. Meg Whitman CEO of HP and Meg Whitman CEO of HP. So I've just by clicking this button I've created these images. Now I just did the button just to demonstrate how you can do it and click it, but this could be automated as soon as you add something into here. So imagine you just uh, fill in a form. Um, so Jason from AMS. And let me just put some uh, dummy text in here for a quote. I'm not witty enough to think of one. And then I submit that. So now in my Airtable I have another one and I can just create images again. 
Sorry, I was a bit too quick, I think. Create images again, and now that's going to create them two images on here. So here we go. Jason Martin, another AMS, and Jason AMS again. So that's it, I've created um, them images, um, but this could be, as soon as you fill in a form, you could automate it, it could be from your spreadsheet, it could be as soon as you add a product to Shopify, the images are automatically generated. And because we're using Zapier to do it, so we're, we're catching the information here, we're creating it in Banner Bear, I could then uh, you know, click on here and go to Buffer, or whatever it is you're using, and then automate the posting of those, uh, those images. So um, I really recommend you check it out. If you're somebody that's creating images a lot of, you know, spending a lot of time creating images, then um, this is such a time saver. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for listening. And thank you even more for listening till the end. If you like what we do, please share and subscribe. Follow us on social media. If you're interested in the work we do and you want to know more, head over to automationmadesimple.co where you can find out everything about us, what we do and how we can help you. Okay, take care and bye for now.